once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons, and more in an effort to exploit our systems and chip away at our military advantage. Directed energy weapons, also known as DOOs, are weapons that deploy a highly focused energy beam, including lasers, microwaves, and particle beams. After decades of research in the United States, defense contractors announced back in 2015 that these systems are expected to come online by 2020 and are currently announcing that they are ready to deploy in the field. Russia, China, India, and the UK are developing directed energy weapons as well. And Iran has had them in use since at least 2013. In 2019, Turkey was the first to officially deploy this technology in combat when they claimed to have shot down a Chinese-made drone supplied to the Libyan National Army. On September 16th, Defense Secretary Mark Esper announced that China and Russia have already weaponized satellites with directed energy weapons. Meanwhile, in space, Moscow and Beijing have turned a once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons, and more in an effort to exploit our systems and chip away at our military advantage. And for the past few years, many have wondered if these advanced weapon systems have anything to do with the unprecedented fires we have seen in the past few years. Laser-based weapons are able to destroy the target with external heat. And microwave weapons are designed to penetrate the target through external antennas and sensors and ignite the internal electronics, destroying them from the inside out. This could explain how thousands of homes have rapidly burned into their own footprint while the trees surrounding them survive. And it could explain the several cars we have seen utterly destroyed with temperatures hot enough to liquefy glass and metal. Michael Janich, host of the YouTube Dutch Sense channel, has been researching the Earth's seismic activity for the past 10 years. During the past few weeks, he has discovered satellite imagery that show an equal distance spread of fires, all starting within the same four hours. Four hours? We've got ourselves an equal distance spread of fires here, 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 and here. So what could cause an equal distance spread of fires? Well, only two things, Mother Nature or man, right? There's no storm in the area. You can't blame a storm. So what could cause equal distance spaced fires to spread out across, what do you think that is, one third of Idaho? And he also discovered what looks to be a beam of light that can be seen in the infrared spectrum, like a microwave. On September 8th, a beam of light can be seen directed to the Dolan Fire of California. The beam appears to excite the heat signature of the fire as it is held on target for over two hours. Right before dawn, watch that. This is yesterday, going into this morning. This is in California, the beam coming from space up above Oregon, or somewhere in between this and Oregon. And as it's going through, see how it excites? As the beam is spreading, look how it excites. It's no doubt about it. And the beam spreads first. Look, beam spreads first. It goes from a tiny, little, tight beam to a wide beam, then the fire spreads to a wide fire. The next day, a beam of light is seen directed at and exciting the heat signature of the Holiday Farm Fire in Oregon for over an hour. Here, here it is now, and it's two of them, and it's only going to one fire, a different fire, and it's moving. Okay, it's moving, there's clouds going through it, which rules out it being an artifact, the clouds are passing through and interfering with the beam. Meanwhile, in space, Moscow and Beijing have turned a once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. They have weaponized space through killer satellites, directed energy weapons, and more in an effort to exploit our systems and chip away at our military advantage. The timing of this public admission is interesting. These weapons of the future are now officially being deployed. Are we currently being attacked with directed energy weapons? And if so, by who?